if you were looking for an alternative, easy to use customizing software besides the designer or editor plus from Bernina, look no further. It's here. Bernina just brought out a new software program called My Burnett Embroidery Software Customizer. Hi, I'm Gregor Sidler with the Bernina Sewing Center here in Tampa, Florida. And in the next few minutes, I would like to show you what this new software can do for you. I will not go into detail uh, how to do the customizing, but rather show you and give you an idea if this software may be something for you. If you decide to buy this software from your local Bernina dealer, please come back here and I will show you in small little lessons what the software can do. So let's get started. Probably the most important part right up front is how much will the software cost? It is $245. That's the MSRP or Manufacture Successed Retail Price. But I'm sure the software probably will go out below the $200 mark. First and foremost, what kind of designs will I be able to open? Let's go to the Open folder and let's see what we can open. When you install the software in your my documents folder another folder will be created called my designs and in my designs folder there is a subfolder called customizer and in there you will find a bunch of designs including a folder called cut work the cut work if you double click and you open that you will see nothing right now because down here it is looking for ART but once I click here let me uh, go down just a little bit further you will see that you can open any design files on the market cutwork files are written in EXP so if I go here to EXP you will see there are a few over 40 cutwork files already included so that should make a few people happy and then if I look in here there will be the software original design file type what would be ART you get a little bit over a hundred I believe it's a hundred and six designs are included if you would like to see them you have two choices you can either click and you see the design right there or you just adjust the view and now you will be able to see them right away so there are quite a few nice designs needless to say some of those designs like the elephant or those outline designs are the ones where the cut work file is included so you would be able to cut out the shape of the heart before you actually do this particular applique and then the fabric would match automatically so you can open any format on the market let's go and open a design let's just take this one here this design is open and as you can see if I zoom in it is what they call in artistic view it looks like it is stitched you will be able to switch for and back between the editing mode and the artistic mode so here now is the artistic mode and if I even zoom in you see each and every needle point those needle points can be turned off and turned on if you would like to see exactly where the needle would stitch once you select this object you get those eight little points and now you can scale this design up and down down here you see we have 20,035 stitches 
But the nice thing, always in the Bernina softwares, as soon as you start to pull and you make this design larger or smaller, it will recalculate the stitches so the design will stitch out exactly the same way. Doesn't matter if it's small or if it's very, very large. When we go and follow those icons on the top here, we have some object properties where I will go in later in the little lessons. You can switch easily the system from US to metric. You literally can just drop and you can do this in the middle of the session. You don't have to make a decision at the beginning. You can zoom in and zoom out as you can see. You can switch the view like I did before already. Then what is important, uh, I'm sure you ask yourself, can I have a different hoop? And yes, absolutely. Right now, all the Burnet hoops are ready made, but if you can see here, we can create our own hoops and I will make a point in the lesson of the hoops. I will give you the measurements for the most common hoops for the Bernina sewing machines. Yes, and you can turn this hoop on and off if it would bother you. Then if you would like to see a grid, you can have a grid. The grid can be adjusted and the rulers on the top, you either can show or not show. And last but not least on the top here, we have a slow redraw. If I click here, this little window opens and I'm gonna be able to go and actually walk through the design and see exactly how that design would stitch out before I stitch it. You can adjust the speed, how many stitches per second it will stitch. You can stop it. So it gives you an idea how it will stitch out. Now, if I click on that design, can I break this design apart and change something? Can I take those hearts out in here? No, you can't. You cannot break this design apart. So the way it is gonna come in, that's the way you will use it. You can shrink it and enlarge and you are welcome to turn this around in any degrees and angle, but you can't break it apart. You can add something to it, and that's what we're going to do next. So here you see a little lettering icon, and absolutely I will be able to add the word Bernina on top of it. And now there is something very cool about it. Any true type font that is installed on your computer is usable so if you see a special font somewhere where you would like to stitch something out you just go and download the font install it on your computer restart this customizing software and the font will be to your disposal so if you would like to stitch this in Calibri you just uh, select that font. You can put the height and the width. We're going to leave this alone. And here you can also see, I will show you in the lessons. You can write this on the top. You can write this on the bottom. Let me make a copy of that so I can show you this later quick. And I'm going to say OK. And then I just can place this wherever I would like. And again, we just click and drag. I will be able to enlarge or shrink this particular Bernina. I'm going to wipe this back out and I'm going to click on it again. Here's my Bernina again and let's do this time the curve on the top. I will give them 
a certain amount and now it's writing this in a curve needless to say I cannot trust this radius later with no problem I can put this wherever I would like and once I'm finished with my customization I can do what yes I can save it save as and what can I save it as so basically any format on the on the market you can save this as again including the Bernina stick for everybody else who does not have Bernet machine I will go a little bit more in detail how to do that and what comes out on the other side if you would use that a little caution I will give you here you cannot send a design to the machine directly from your computer so you are not able to hook up the computer to your machine and send it over what does that mean it means that somebody who has 170 or a 180 or a 165 Bernina that does not take a USB stick you will have to have another program to do that now what kind of other program will do that for you Bernina Artlink 7 Bernina Artlink 7 is at no charge and you may own that already is available on the BerninaUSA.com website you can download that so in your case if you have an older machine you just save this design after you customize it then pick it up with the Artlink program and there you will be able to send it directly to your machine so if you look at it you can certainly write quilt labels in here you can combine designs you can enlarge them you can shrink them and basically send them to your machine and stitch it up that was a little tiny overview from this program i hope you like it and if you like to ask any question just below here on youtube just ask me some questions and i will be glad to answer those for you